welcome to the special edition Christmassy Aerial Yoga class. So, as a gift to you this Christmas, I will guide you through the seven special festive poses in the end. And remember guys, the hat is optional. Okay, so let's get started and meet in a sun. So let's first just meet in a cocoon. Uh, by the way, if you haven't yet to know how to jump through the flip into it, just check this video above as always. But other than that, let's meet in it. Oh, my hat! So as you are now in a silk, just first let's awaken the body and prepare to warm up for the poses. So stretch from side to side, just a little bit warming up through the back. Okay, and now bend your knees. I will take my legs out, so your knees should be like this, bent but in a silk. And then just grab the sides, edges next to you, and just pull yourself forward so that you will end up in the kneeling position. So your knees are bent and feet inside the cell. Or you just go into it in a simple way. And now we will do as a cat cow just a little bit again, warming up through the chest, opening the shoulders. And now just grab the soul firmly over your head and lift up for your pelvis. And now just let's do a cat cow version. So inhaling and arching, so pushing your belly, chest forward, neck long, looking up the ceiling, and exhaling, bringing your pelvis down, rounding your back and leaning back into the soul. Inhaling, pulling up and arching, and exhaling down and rounding. So a few more times, just feel the openness through the front and when we curling through the back. Inhale and exhale down. And let's stay up and leave it into this deeper uh, back bend as well as chest opener. So keep your pelvis forward and lean back. Breathing. One more breath in. And breathing down, just a little bit relaxing lower back. But now we're entering our first Christmas pose, which is angel pose. Okay, so now again, uh, lifting up your pelvis. And now just grab one of your edges of the silk from the back through in front and hold it the same on the other side so finding the edge through into the front so there and we have angel wings so now as we are in this pose just a little bit twisting so just moving through the waistline back and shoulder line. Mm, this is like dancing. <laughs> Twist and shout. Okay, and now from this angel we will slide a little bit into more like flying angel. So hands a little bit closer to one another and then just go all the way forward and down. So your shoulder line is even more open and chest the same, stretching through the abs and into the deeper back bend. So we can hold the pose here. Okay, so we'll keep on holding our pose and breathing. So just a few more breaths. Last one. And let's relax in child's pose. So just bending your knees, pelvis all the way down on your heels, just leave your hands all the way ahead, still opening through the shoulders and just relaxing all the tensions in the neck and uh, neutralizing the deep bend I just did. Just feel that loose and ease feeling in the neck. Slowly 
comes up and unswirl. And let's continue with the other Christmas poses. So how, what is Christmas without Christmas tree? Let's go to that. So grab a circle way up ahead and just lift up and stand up. And now just a little bit narrow your pose. Move your feet. Of course, you can just go out of the silk and it will be faster probably. <laughs> I'll just do that as I did. So now, let's take the right leg behind the silk and wrap around into the left leg. And then lean back and bring the same side up, that means right elbow into the front. So the silk is just bought behind the right shoulder. Now make your right leg more comfortable. So if it's not available to put it on the thigh, it's okay to leave it on the shin. Just remember guys, don't put the heel onto the knee. That means don't pressure onto the knee joint. So either below or either over it. So, and if it's your leg keep on sliding, don't forget that you should push your foot into the leg while the other leg is pushing it back. So it's like opposite directions. And keep opening through the right hip. So glutes are active. And then if you feel comfortable, just release your hands into Anjali Mundra next to your heart. And just close your eyes. And just keep on breathing while your hips are opening through into this Christmas tree pose. as long as branches. So now just hold up with your left uh, arm on the silk and now we open. So either holding on your shin but from the inside of your right leg and just keep on with the arm pushing away or extend your leg by holding either thigh either on the shin or by your foot. So again whatever is for you today is available and what your body is ready to do. So holding here while stretching out more hamstrings and inside of the thighs. One more breath in and breathing out, releasing the leg and let's slide down as a Santa uh, down the chimney into the deer pose. So extend your silk over the left thigh and over the glute, the buttocks. So widen it. And then go through your arms through the silk and open up. So now the deer is flying into the sky. So bend your front leg, but the back leg is pushing away from the ground and it's in a straight line. Just forward, shoulders back, opening through the front while also warming up our hip flexors. And here we go. Now slowly stopping in the middle and let's climb up to go on the other side. Okay, so now let's get our left side stretch out. So left leg behind the silk and wrapping around, entering almost the Christmas tree. But besides the leg, we also need the arm. So lean back and bring your left elbow forward so behind the shoulder. And make sure that your foot is either in the shin, the same as you did on the other side or on the thigh, just over the knee. And keep pushing through your foot into the thigh, thigh up, up to the foot, and opening through the hip as if opening your book. Now, hands by your heart and Valley Mudra, perhaps closing your eyes and feel them and lengthening through your spine while you're still opening through the left hip and keep your glutes active so the whole pelvis is engaged. Deep breaths. Mm 
Last breath in. Breathing out and open your eyes and let's extend the branches of a Christmas tree. So hold up with your right arm over the sill, but with the left uh, hand just grab by your shin, but from inside of the leg and keep opening more. Or if you want more of a stretch, then either holding by a thigh, either by the shin, or if it's available, by the foot. So whichever it is, just keep opening your leg to the side. Breathing. One more breath. And releasing. And then let's slide down into the deer pose. So the silk is just under the right thigh, widely spread and over your buttocks. And then go through your arms and open up. And front knee is bent, but the back leg is straight. Just pushing away. Mama, jingle bells. And you can close your eyes. And this chair falls, swinging motion. One breath in. And breathing out. Open your eyes if you've been closed. And slowing it down. Take your leg out of the sill. And now, another pose that we will enter is a star pose. The star that we put on our Christmas tree. So let's first meet into the back straddle. Just spread the silk and go through it and find the other edge and bend your silk in half. So both edges together. When holding these edges together and turning uh, facing the other side, elbows in. Lift out on your tiptoes and sit into the sun. Just remember the sun is just under your glutes, just under your butt. And then grab the sides of the sun just by the hips. So under the waistline, leaning back, opening your legs, and wrapping around. Okay, so it's just a few more moments. Just relaxing, feeling that sliding down. Hanging from the spine, from the neck. And now we reached the star pose. So open your arms wide, palms down, and fingers are active. Then, first we need to engage our core abdominal area to hold the pose. So look your leg ahead and look up. You have to see a bend. Then it activates. So hold it active but head is a little bit relaxed as if you're lifting your whole chest and shoulders up. And then slowly open your legs wide but not much as to the sides, more forward. Like you keep on opening and crunching and Legs towards my arms. Oh, sorry, sorry, I didn't say. <laughs> and arms lift up. So then, your star pose. Keep breathing and holding. Open up your core. And now let's go to the snorkeling. So exhaling and curling into the little ball. Inhaling and opening. Sailing into the center, inhaling again into the sides. So a few more times. And last one. Okay, and now try to reach your legs. If not, then hold it by the shins, by the feet, or by the big toes. And just a little bit forward, lengthening like through your spine while opening through your hips and inner thighs. 
breath is long and deep. So we will round our snowball. So I will change direction. You can stay in this and just first check how it will look. So now we'll just demonstrate and then we will do it together. So it will look like that. Come back, straddle, we will uh, bring feet all the way forward, climbing up and opening through the legs and bending them, then taking the silk in front. And rolling like a ball down, back into the straddle. So now let's do it together. I did with narrow soon, but it's more uh, safe and comfortable with double. So I would do double as you are. Turning to you. And now, as you wrap it around, just bend your knees and knees together, together when they are hanging. Now from your head, just a little bit. Lift up and hold the silk, climbing high, as high as you can. Then extend your legs forward and then open through the hips into the side. In here, it might squeeze a little bit of your thighs, especially if you haven't done this pose yet. But don't worry, we won't be as long as here as you think. Plus, it's good massage. And so hold the silk in front with one arm, the other by the waist. Don't be afraid, this flip is actually you never let go of yourself, so you're just lighting. And now just look to your belly, extend your elbows, and you're coming back, waist up, into back front. So let's try a few more. Again, pushing your feet forward, and don't worry if you can't lift up for today, just keep on trying. So if you are here already, just a little bit Swing from your overhead to grab the edges, climb as high as you can. Remember, extend the legs and open into the seated, wide for seated position. And just taking the silk in front, looking to your belly and curl as a little more. In this case, in this case, snowball. And last one. So going through, lifting up, climbing, extending and opening and taking the front of the silk and rolling as a ball. I think, I think today it will be enough of rolling, so unwrap, unwrap your legs and sit into the silk. And last relaxing pose is Red Robin Bird. So before entering the last pose of our day special Christmas edition class, First, just unravel your silk as you see it. It's all narrowed into one big row. So extend it back, sit into the silk. Either double, either it can be in one layer this time. Just sit into it, lean back, find the edges that are just by your ribcage, elbows bent outside. And then we're pushing the silk forward through and opening it to little things. And now just grab the opposite sides of the edges. So one palm the other, one edge, one here. Leaning with your forehead, forehead into the wrists and just a little bit through the other side. Close your eyes. Notice the sensations in your body after today, movements up and down.
So there you go, guys. If you feel that you still want to do Shavasana, by all means do that. Just pause this video uh, and keep on continuing. Or if that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed this Christmas edition Aerial Yoga class and ready to celebrate your Christmas and finding those little gifts under the Christmas trees. And as always, subscribe, like, comment, or check all the information about aerial yoga magic in the description. But other than that, I wish you a very beautiful and cozy holidays with your families. So happy Christmas, happy new year, and see you in the next one. Bye! Namaste! Already there? Yay!